Total realism or kitchen sink cinema is supposed to give us a window into a world much like our own, to help us see the world through a familiar but unique lens. The problem with this approach is that people don't tend to change overnight or learn profound life lessons in an instant, like they do in movies. It can take a lifetime to go into who you should be, and maybe you never will. So if you fully commit to the kitchen sink aesthetic, it can mean that leaving your audience underwhelmed or un unfilmed at the end, because that's life. So what we've had in recent years is this trend in realism to force in a big change or dramatic event at the end. Be it an act of violence or someone running away. It's just become normal for this to happen, even though it's not normal. It could be considered a cop-out to do this, but I mean it's understandable, money doesn't come easy in this country unless your uncle works at the BFI, or you're writing about whatever progressive concept is trending that week. So you have to make concessions. After all, you're making a product to sell, not an art installation. But this one, this did something different. Daphne is a 2017 film directed by Peter Mackie Burns and starring Emily Beecham. It follows the hedonistic life of a just turned 30 cafe worker in London. Being funded by the BFI, it's not surprising that this film went full on with the kitchen sink aesthetic. It had the freedom to, and its audience was really Guardian readers, not Danny Dyer's. But what's interesting is that it actually did something interesting with this realism dilemma. It found an answer, and it's all in the editing. So we have this fly on the wall thing going on here. We're seeing Daphne's life unfold piece by piece in front of us, but we never see the full thing. What we get are fragments, unfinished tasks, snippets. This gives us a sense of fragmentation which mirrors her lifestyle. She has no direction, no drive. She has unresolved issues from past and present, and we see all this through direction, staging, acting, writing, but also feel it through the editing. Each scene feels incomplete because we don't, we never see it out to the end. We just get a little bit. This isn't a new technique. Dennis Villeneuve actually uses it too. It gives an almost subliminal sense of urgency, even in the slowest burn of a film, like Prisoners. But in Daphne, what it does is allow you to feel some closure in the end. Some subtle, delicate closure. Not a sledgehammer of death or violence or escape, but a sense of hope. This is all done without betraying its chosen aesthetic. At the end of the film, we see, Daph we see Daphne has changed, but only slightly. And the way they show this through editing is just allowing a scene to, to run out to the end, instead of cutting it like they have been doing. Every scene gets its full, full time to breathe and live. At the end of the film, we're not sure. we, we see some change in Daphne, but we're not sure whether she's changed or not. She may have changed, but she may not have. We won't ever know because we only saw her through that window, and that's realism. Hello? Now then, if you like video, then click subscribe. If you didn't like it, well then bog off. No, don't really subscribe anyway.